Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another movie review. Now, we're, today we're going to be reviewing the film that was a 2019 TIFF Film Festival selection and is now going to be available for you on demand digitally on all platforms come January 5th. And this film is White Lie. And yes, it is mine chosen by film, White Lie. There's a lot of tricky things happening with this film here before we even talk about the film because the definition of a white fly a white lie i can't talk is typically a lie that is harmless pretty much trivial but at the same time is by no means used to absolutely hurt anyone feelings and at surface level is it's very transparent that's a lie and it's just typically comical well the film is absolutely not that at all. Because yes, it's premised around a lie, but it's way, way, way deeper than a white lie. Like, way deeper than a white lie. And maybe there is a white lie theme in there. And I, I guess that's up for you to determine. But nonetheless, it's the lie here is way deeper than that. Because you're dealing with this character, Katie, um, who's played by Casey Rowe, who just does a spectacular job, by the way, as the lead. Really, really convincing, emotional on and off switch with her personality. It's just a spectacular performance by her. Uh, you may have seen her in Rose, uh, in, in Arrow, and in Hannibal in the past. But um, what's happening here, she's an undergrad, and she's a really popular student. And she's popular for, like, yes, good heroic reasons, but they're premised around a lie. Because she's going around telling everybody that she has uh, mel uh, melanoma skin cancer. And so you have all her friends and support staff rallying around her in order to help her beat this disease. And by rallying around her, you know, they're campaigning for her. Um, and these campaigning are asking for donations. And these donations are getting super, super, super lucrative. I think even at a point, she said she made $24,000. So it's, she's making a lot of money here. And it's all based around a lie. And ultimately, she's doing this because not only is she, you know, uh, making money off of this, but she's also trying to get into a certain presti a prestigious school, and she's trying to get on scholarship. And it's kind of driven off of her her medical uh, story. So, yeah. But, like, I can't stress enough. Like, with this being premised around the lie and, and everything circling around this big lie you this is the story of katie as we watching all of her manipulation um just evil intent as she just really is imposing on e any and everyone she comes in contact with and we're just ultimately watching her weasel her way throughout this entire story and to ultimately you're you're wondering is it all going to blow up in her face and like I have to say, she has some of these lies now to a T. Like it is just mind blowing how someone could just be so manipulative. But at the same time, too, she also is. Uh, she does. She makes some huge mistakes and um, very, very uh, idiotic decisions. That, as you would think, no one. All, it always catches back up to you. And as you would expect, she would eventually. Uh, uh, make mistakes but eventually in the story you have to find out like how does this all resolve does she ultimately succeed in her mission or does it ultimately blow up in her face and consequences and so while yes she makes a lot of a lot a lot a lot of bad lies she also uh, makes some mistakes as well but you know it, it, it's all the matter of it, is it is it the end of her uh, her scheme that's going on here or does she ultimately succeed in everything she's trying to do uh, but like I said mom chosen by film here because uh, you have this girl that's just completely having you think that you know she's going through the worst of the worst and cancer is nothing to be played with and it's very sensitive to people but at the same time she's using it um, as, as um, something to a, a platform in other words to really take advantage of other people take advantage of the system and it's just it's really, really bad. But I got to say, this film is super, super interesting. The drama that goes on in this film will have you just completely invested the entire time. And you're just you're 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 on this journey waiting to see what is going to happen to Katie here. Does it go bad or does it or does she actually pull this off? 
and you just won't know until you have to watch it. And again, it will be available um, January 5th on demand digitally, all platforms. Again, this is a TIFF 2019 film festival selection. It's a very spectacular film. Um, Casey just does a spectacular job in her role. And I, I, I it, it will be triggering. There will be times that's going to really make you angry. And there's going to be times that's just going to just have you, your jaw just drop because just the things that she does and the things she says and just, you know, it, it, as much as she's a con artist here, she easily comes off as like an addict because she has a way of getting out of everything and, and slit talking her way into getting into people's pockets and hurting people around her regardless if she knows it or not. And it's just, woo, it is, it's, it's something for sure. And then when you factor in that other people are trying to expose her for a lie and that she has to maintain this lie at the same time, you already know it's just going to get more and more messier. And in the middle of this, you got other people falling casualty uh, between these lies and being hurt. There's just a lot going on. And it's just a lot that this one individual have to maintain in order to truly succeed in her ultimate plan here. So that's a lot. One's trying to take her down, her trying to maintain it, other one's being hurt. It's just it's 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 just one journey through drama um that's just truly gonna have you at the edge of your seat and jaw dropping from all the events that take place. But as always, folks, thank you so much for watching my review. Hopefully you, you are subscribed and I can catch you around for other reviews in the future. But let me know in the comments what you thought about this film once you check it out, or if you've seen it earlier since it has been on the film festival circuit earlier this year. But as always, I definitely love uh, interacting with y'all, hearing your thoughts and comments. So definitely drop those below and I'll catch you all for the next one.